Hi everyone, welcome back to another Strangely Us podcast with myself, Mark English, and myself, Wendy. Thank you. Now, the last podcast which was about Doctor Who. Which I'm wearing my Tegan Javanka skirt. Yeah, from Resurrection of the Daleks. Yeah, I am. Though she had a white sort of stripey she thing. Did, it was white with sort of coloured yes. things on, but I'm wearing the skirt as, a, as we talked yeah. about it. So. Stop being fun, Doctor. Yeah. But today we're going to talk about travel. We are. Yeah. Travel. Uh, we both have places in the world that we sort of resonate with us. And um, I want to talk about that a little bit for half an hour. Mm. Um, and when, why? When did you first go abroad, Wendy? When did you first go abroad? Um, oh, now you're asking. Um, well, see, when, when I was young, sadly, we didn't have money to go abroad. So it was all English holidays. So the first time I went abroad was to Northern Ireland. Oh, okay. And it would be um, around 93. And I was with a boyfriend. Oh, quite late then. Yeah, I was with a boyfriend and we went out to see... Went out to see the lovely certain part of Northern Ireland, which oh, we had to be careful in, because we actually we I'd never been I'd never I'd never actually flown before, so I got in the plane and then the first time the plane took off I thought my head was going to explode because I wasn't used to that right okay yeah you know? yeah and I was like I want to get out I want to get out so that was my first one you me I was um, it was oh my gosh Mallorca nineteen seventy one. Wow. With uh, with my family, my my dad had quite a well paid job, so we managed to go. It was back in the early days of mm-hmm. sort of mm-hmm. continental travel, um, and I remember my dad left it, le- letting off this little cap toy gun I had, this little cap gun that made a loud noise. Imagine mm-hmm. doing this now though, mm-hmm. and uh, freaked the bejesus out of everyone in the hotel. It was so loud. Um, yeah, that was the first time I went abroad, and then the next time after that was nineteen eighty four, going to Italy. No, sorry, it was Cos in 1982. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been abroad quite a lot since then, actually. Mm. See, I think that, you know, it, your dad had a good job, so you could, guys could go, but obviously my side, we didn't, but it was always like, want, my name was a massive I mean, we're, flyer. We're, 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 no, hold on, I have to report, we were mm. quite working class. We weren't sort so, of, my, so my, yeah, my dad worked in the print and had a quite well, yeah. well, well pretty well paid job in the print. Yeah. But my nan flew. She 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 gave me that kind of inspiration to fly, because my nan didn't fly to her seventies, and then she was like everywhere. Like yeah. she went everywhere. But my mum never had. My mum didn't fly, and so it, it wasn't in the family. Right. So we didn't have that option. But then all of us, and then obviously Dad went on and did his thing. But for me, when I first got on the plane, I was like, "Oh, this is really exciting." And then obviously. Um, it was only, and I remember like coming down into Northern Ireland and going into Belfast, and you have this this runway, and the seas on like either side of it, and you think, oh please, don't let that wind just blow us yeah. off a bit. So that was where I went, and and it was it was uh, it was freedom. It was like I can get out of here, I can go somewhere, and that's what's remained with mm. me. I love tra- I love to travel if I can. It's always down to finance, isn't it? Mm. Really. And what place resonates with you that you've been in the world? What place you got? I know, I know the answer to this, but the viewers won't. What place resonates with you? It's a few, though. I, I, if I'm honest, um, obviously Ireland had always. Um, cat meow yeah, he's, he's back in. Ireland had always um, resonated with me. I've been drawn to, to it. Um, and Italy was another place that you know called to me, and I loved Italy. Italy's gorgeous. Um, to Rome and Sorrento. Oh. No, you're talking. Yeah. Years. I mean, we're talking 30 years ago, but... Um, and also, it's like history. History, I'm drawn... They say that if you're drawn to certain countries, and, and that lot, there's a reason for it, right? And and for me, it was always America. I always wanted to go to America. Same here. You know, I was... I'd grown up as a kid, watching America and everything on the TV. You're like, I need to go to this place. You know, I need to... You know, and I'd always been into Halloween and stuff like that. So, I wanted to go to America... In the end, I ended up in Canada. And everybody knows, or rather, obviously, people that know me, it was the great, has been the greatest love affair of my life with that country. Could you, what, what, what brought you to Canada in the first place? That's quite a story, sir. <laughs> story, um, I, um, I met my husband, my, my, my husband, uh, well, he wasn't at the time, but I met, uh, somebody and we got chatting and I was like oh my god you're in Canada and the next thing you know within three weeks I was there and um, I but what I didn't realize 
because I spent a lot of time on my own when I was there, is I had the best relationship of my life with myself. And I learned okay. who I was because Canada has this amazing, I mean, I'm a massive, you know, Canuck, you know, honorary Canuck. Um, of what? Honorary Canuck. What's it's another Canuck? word for like, you know, Canadian. Oh, right, okay. I've um, heard that before. That's interesting. Canuck. Canuck's a great name. And, uh, you know, it was all, and also being psychic as well, when I went to Canada, my ability just went, because the energy is completely different there. So for me, I felt like I'd gone home and I didn't realise that I'd gone home. That's really, in, I've never heard that before. When we do, talk about the paranormal, which Wendy and I do a lot in, mm. I'll come back to that. Mm. I've never heard that before. Mm. Very interesting. Okay. It was like somebody got a cold water and threw it over me and my psychic ability went ten, ten, you know, ten filled right. up. And it's because it's so open. And, and the energy fields are just so different over there to the UK. And, and also what I loved about Canada was that it's like, how co- if you want to do something, let's do it. How can we help you? We're in the UK. It, it, it hasn't been, you know, sadly, that sort of experience. But always wanted to go to America. Haven't been there yet. Drawn to it like there's no tomorrow. Um, and I know that's something that's, that's quite important to you, isn't it? I love it. I've been going to uh, North America, the USA for i mean regularly in the last 11 years i worked on a summer camp uh 96 97 and 99 uh camp fake camus in new in new uh west mm. milford new jersey great times we still talk on facebook you know years mm. later 25 mm. years later nearly but amazing but yeah i started going to america regularly sort of 2010 i went to new york um but the place that resonates with me is florida of all places. Why but is Florida? I don't, I still, even now, cannot put my finger on why I love Florida so much. Nothing to do with the theme, theme mm. box. I don't go to theme box. They don't interest me in whatsoever. Um, I go Orlando a lot and then sort of spread out and sort of go off the beaten track a little mm. bit. Uh, Florida Keys, wow. I mean, you can see my t shirt here if you're watching on video. Key West is probably my most favorite. I like favorite. that color on you. Yeah, thank you very much. It suits you. you. It brings you your eyes out. Yeah, thank you very much. But you know, um, you can always rely on yeah. me. Key West, I've been watching. I have live webcam looking at Key West. Mm. Um, I've been there once. I know that feeling. And, yeah. and I want to get back. I want to go there for a month. Mm. But I love the Florida Keys. Uh, I love Orlando. I love St. Augustine. I went to Miami, which I didn't actually like as much as I thought I would, but it's still, it's still brilliant. And um, um, especially where the, um, the airports are at the moment, mm-hmm. I have to wait a little bit. I think mm-hmm. it, I think I'm probably going to be next year now. But yeah, but Florida is a place that really draws me. It's two places, that and Avebury. I go on about Avebury all the time, the mm. big stone circle mm-hmm. and ancient le- sacred landscape of Avebury in Wiltshire. Um, I think that, oh, that's so cute. You can't see this, but Van is kissing kissing, kissing um, uh, Henry. Henry. Oh, that's so cute. But yeah, Avebury and the Florida Keys is something that really resonates with me. That's it, completely won't. Henry's like, look, I was sleeping. Um, I mean, I know what you mean, because Ireland had always called to me. And then when I went to to Northern Ireland, I have Irish blood in me, which, you know, um, and also I've been to I've been to Scotland um, recently. I went up to Melrose and Edinburgh, loved it there, felt an absolute calling there Never been to Scotland. Um, and discovered I got quite a lot of Scottish blood in me, which I didn't know that either. But when I went to Canada... I'd never done tra- in, uh, international travel. I got on a plane on my own and and just never done international travel. And I was sitting there thinking, what am I doing? What am I doing? And, every, and how long is this flight? And how long is this flight? And nine hours later, got off on the other side. And it was a real adventure. It was like, I I just took the, pardon the pun, the balls in, in my hand and just went, I'm doing this. And I, I, I've gone back and forth to that country probably many 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 yeah. times for the since 2005 my best friend is there and you know my family are there but i think you when you go this is a question that is a very good one to ask when you go to america what feelings does it bring out in you oh god that is a good question belonging uh ho- i feel like it's home yeah um I've also got, we we spoke about this off camera, didn't Mm. we, about certain music that resonates with me Mm -hmm. for a certain place. Um, I just feel really comfortable. Yeah. Now, to people who are living in maybe Orlando go, what what special about Orlando? 
But if you're from outside the country, mm. you know, you're from the motherland, so I call UK the motherland, mm. um, you go, think we used to own, own Florida. Mm. Mm. Why did we get rid of it? It's a colony. Um, I feel, I belong and I just feel totally at ease and I'm happy. Yeah, think about that. Like I do at Avebury as mm. well. I love England, don't get me wrong. I love England, that history here. But I'm also, it's just a biological throw of the die. So I happen to be born in this country. Yeah. You know, which I've talked to other people about who are very sort of, oh, I love my country. Yeah, but it's actually just a throw of the dice. You happen to be born in this country. You could, that, be, you could have been born in China, that's, Afghanistan, that Australia. That comes up with that question, and isn't it? Like this, if you went into the psychic world, this lifetime, if you want to go in there, you're in this. But you could yeah. have had other lifetimes when yes. you were in other countries, which is why you're called to it. And um, for me, when I go to Canada, um, I go to Alberta, and um, it's right by the Rocky Mountains. Ooh, and I wonderful. never, ever thought a city girl like myself would ever be at peace. But I found, I found my spirituality, using that word, I felt like I was in the, I was in the presence of something mighty. And um, I felt like I could truly be the Wendy I've always wanted to be. I could truly be myself. I was accepted for who I was. There was no... And I love my country. I love being Brit. I'm very proud to be a Brit. Um, Same here. But I think there is... The Canadians have a a way of making you feel so welcome. They accept you for who you are, warts and all. And they, um, they were just like... They opened their hearts to me and their homes. And I think that... I discovered Wendy when I was out there and I don't think I, ever since I've come and I actually feel now I don't I feel like an alien in my own country now explain I feel more at home in Canada than I do the UK right okay I feel like I since I've come home and I you know I bear in mind I go back and forth I feel like I'm truly this I'm truly Wendy when I'm in Canada not because I'm any different mm. But it's the feeling it gives me. It gives me peace. If I was in somewhere in Florida, mm. I would be a little bit the same. I know you, I am on about in the countryside in England, but what you just said is r- really interesting. Um, yeah, say I was in Key West. Mm. Key West on the T-shirt here, which I bought in Key West. Mm. Um, I should have put my Canadian one. Yeah, on. you should have. Um, I will feel at home. Mm. Why is that? Why is that? And then maybe there is that, you know, Paul, past life, you know, something, if you believe in, in, in past lives. But to me, it's always been as well about how the country treats you as well. Because yes. if you go to the country and you have a bad experience, like, you know, when I went, I went to Italy, I love Italy. It's Italy's a wonderful beautiful. country. I've got me a be- uh, It's wonderful. I'm planning to go back. Yeah. Italy's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And when I went to, I mean, I went to Rome, Sorrento, um, Pompeii. Same when, here, yeah. When I went to um, Naples, 1984, that was. Didn't like Naples. Didn't. But I, when I went to, um, I like Naples, Florida. Right oh, but you do because it's much. But Naples, Italy, is yeah, a different taste altogether. But it's the same as Northern Ireland. Like, when I went to Northern Ireland, I was always called to Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. And you go to the mountains of Morn, um, and you see all these little mountain goats climb climb out the mountains, and you feel like, why does this feel familiar? Why do I feel at home here? Why does the Irish music feel? strangely familiar okay that's interesting and it's like i just felt like i love the come pubs. home yeah no yeah but to me it's like you know especially when i we were growing up northern ireland wasn't a place that you you no. really were supposed to go no, to the troubles but when you went there and i actually went to belt west belfast and i saw all the murals and i saw bobby sands grave and everything like that they're such a proud race you know they're they're proud they're proud people and it was they welcomed me to their hearts and i think it, it, it depends on the reception you also get from from the people so how did you feel like when you went to italy what sort of reception did you get well it's a long time ago i was only 18 mm. uh very welcoming went to pompeii sorrento rome all those kind yeah. of places but say it's hard to comment on something you know nearly f- God, oh, 40 on, years ago that. yeah more florida is interested in america um, the myth of they like the British accent is not a myth at all. No, do I've you? had people say to me, yeah. "Oh, oh Mark, can that. you just talk? Can you talk a bit more? Mm. You know, can you talk a bit more?" Yeah. Um, and I get you know you, you engage in conversation with these people, lovely people over there. 
Uh, and I point out that you only get two weeks holiday? Mm. What? I get five weeks holiday and they can't get their head around that. Well, also, I mean, like, the difference between America and Canada. Yeah. I mean, like, I remember... Like, Big my, difference. My Canadian friends come over here and they go, no, I'm actually Canadian. You know, there is that, like, like there is that... Like Australian and, and New Zealand. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and also, in Canada, obviously, the health system's very different to America as well. I saw a great documentary by Michael Moore called, um, uh, was it uh, Sicko, a couple of years ago, where Americans would actually cross the border mm, just to get medical right. treatment free of charge. We're so lucky in this country to have free medical health care, yeah. which we well, we pay a few more tax, uh, higher taxes into. I don't mind that at all. No. Especially with recent stuff I've not talked about. But also as well, given current issues with the, you know, the whole abortion rights as well, there are going to be a lot of people, I would imagine, travelling yes. for whatever reasons. And you think in 2022, can't believe that a country America's always supposed to be the land of the, it's not. the free isn't it's not. it I love you America know? but it's really far behind on mm. so many issues yeah it's really and I'd love to do Route 66 in your in the Impala I'd yeah. love to do that and I'd love to do see the Grand Canyon and Salem and all well, that I've been area in the Grand Canyon I've done five times oh, it's, it's spectacular I'd love to do the that. videos are done from there it doesn't give it justice yeah. it is blows your mind when you go there absolutely blows what your mind it, what does it sound like when you go there what does it sound like? Like the noise in the Grand Canyon. There is no noise. Exactly. It's really still. Yeah. Very still. Yeah, still. Because when I went to, I went to a place called... Um, oh, I can't remember it now. Head smashed in Buffalo Jump. As you do. And it's a place where uh, the, the native Indians, they used to drive the buffaloes over the, over the cliff and they'd be waiting underneath for them to obviously, you know, yeah. kill them. And, um, and and they used everything from them, every single bit, you know, nothing was wasted. But the land is still, there's still like a slight tainted redness on the land where there was, you know, and they still have the vision quests as well. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I know um, And when I went there, all I could hear was silence. And I was like, I'm not used to this, I'm from London. Yeah. I'm from London, where's all the noise? But I think that made me appreciate the fact that how small we really are in this world. This is, we're just a tiny, tiny piece. Yeah. And, and, you know, the world does not begin and end in the UK. No, it doesn't. No. We might be one of the richest countries in the world and all that kind of stuff. And the British Empire, which is rather embarrassing, really, if you ask me. Um, Lately. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think, you know, all right, Britain's influence in the world has been quite strong. Good or bad, that's debatable. But that's, mm. that's another subject altogether. Um but yeah, I mean, some of our former colonies have really come into their own, really. And certainly, I mean, one thing we've got to say about Britain, without Britain, some of these countries wouldn't, you know, we formed their society. You know, we, yeah. we helped to, to bring, you know, losing Australia and Canada and America. They were colonies. You know, they, they were, and New Zealand, they were all like, you know, we helped, and Aust- obviously Australia, which they probably never forgave us for, but sorry, we sent them all over there. But now, I mean, you know, the, to find you, the only true native... In, in Australia and, and Canada, obviously, would be the Aboriginals and yeah. the, and the, um, the you know, first people. Yeah. So. It's like in America, the Native, Amer- Native Americans. Um, I went to uh, Monument Valley about 10 years ago, which still I want to go back to. Mm. Spectacular. A lot of uh, John Ford Westerns were shot. And we were, we were taken around the reservation by uh, a, a Native American uh, uh, and it was absolutely fascinating. I'd love to do that. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. fascinating. One of the best trips I've ever done. Um, just going into a sweat lodge, mm. watching them craft mm. and weaving. It was incredible. Um, I'd love to do that again. Um, you know, I think someone said something once. I always, if travel was free, yeah. you'd never see me again. Well, I mean, I agree with you, but I mean, I know days. friends. I know friends who love England so much. Yeah. Um, and they're always looking for what really was, what is England. And they have no interest in going abroad. And I mm. find that extraordinary to understand. It was said to me once, why do you feel the need to go abroad? You're, you know, you're from here. This is where you belong. And I was like, this is a big world well, out there. there. Once again, I go back to what I said earlier on. It's just a pure throw of the dice, biological throw of the dice. Yeah. You happen to be belo- be born into this country. Yeah. That's why patronism I don't personally agree with. I mean, if you could choose, yeah. um, 
countries you to, you would actually like to live in and bearing in mind you might not know that until you actually go there but yeah. if what, what countries do you feel drawn to uh, oh, well the whole conversation would be North America mm -hmm. uh, I've been pretty much everywhere in North America I've been to Los Angeles New York um, uh, Phoenix, uh, Arizona you know, I've been all over the place uh, so if I had to say so, right let's talk about North America it'd be Florida and the Florida Keys mm -hmm. uh, other than that um, England still got some great places uh, I love the West Country mm -hmm. and Cornwall all around that area um Italy, once again, we'll talk about Italy mm. again. Amazing. But if if it wasn't England, you can't really say England, the place you you live. Yeah. I say Florida think? Keys. Yes, where you would go. Nowhere else. No. See, I'm sort of torn because I've... Hurricanes been, and all. I've been drawn to France, some parts of France that I've never been to. I've, I've never been, been to France. I did a video diary, actually. We went to the Cannes Film Festival uh, back in 2003. Um, and I, France is all right. Mm. France is all right. There's something about this... There's something about France that calls me, and I've yet to actually scratch that, you know, itch. Um, and, Interesting. You know, I need to go to France, um, and for me, America, obviously, I'd, I'd love to go and live in America. I, I get well, I worked out. I have. Anyone lived want out. to adopt me? Yeah, I have lived out there, and it you know, is, I'd love to go amazing. to America. Um, so, uh, I mean, else? it's interesting. America, no, no disrespect to my American friends. They are a little bit behind the rest of the Western world. Mm. It has to be said, but that, especially with healthcare. That, especially with healthcare. The healthcare I get, but is is some of that not such a bad thing because they still have that sort of there's still that sort of quaintness. Um, no, no, I, 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 I'm. Lost. I mean, what I was saying about when I spoke to people, like I get five weeks holiday and they get two. Mm. Um, that's up to the employer the, yeah. whether they give it to them or not. Mm. Uh, so no, and uh, obviously the. Um, the fast food, which is not a good thing. We all do it occasionally when needs must. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that. I mean, that's if actually what you do, that's what you do. But yeah, it, I don't think it's as forward thinking as other Western societies are. The other one that comes to me, although I, I probably wouldn't live out there, but I'm drawn to it, is Egypt. Yes. There's I want to go to the Valley of the Kings. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to do Luxor. Here we go. Yeah, Luxor, it's either Spink, all of it. I'd love to do Sphinx. it. Sphinx. 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 Yeah, and even that's supposed to be much older than people think it is. Yeah. And the thing is, I always loved the film Stargate, right? I've seen clips of that the other day. One, Kurt Russell, James wonderful Spader. Wonderful film. And they, if you listen to some things out there, they do believe that the pyramids are an address, right? They're all address to the stars and everything because a line was serious that's isn't it? right and also the stargate there is rumors that the star there is a stargate and it you know that film is there is there a reality to it yes there could be would we know about it the little people no we may not so egypt calls to me because the egyptians were so advanced in their time you know mummification <clears throat> how they did the, the tombs and everything like that well england was still walking around with bones you know banging themselves over the head the Egyptians were building a well, civilization. Around, no, actually, mm, I'm actually going to disagree with you oh, there. Go for it, lovely. Uh, cause, oh, get me wine. Uh, uh, get your wine, darling. Mm. Places like Avebury and Stonehenge were built before the pyramids mm. were built. Mm. All right, the pyramids are a remarkable mm. feat yeah. of engineering. But so was Avebury. So was uh, I mean, Silbury Hill, the largest man-made uh, uh, structure, in, uh, pre structure in Europe. Yeah. Stonehenge. Yeah. And remarkable structures. And they were built before the pyramids. Yeah. So what brings... That's the other thing. All right, in Egypt, there's probably more order society around that time. But what brings everyone together to build those things? I oh, know. What's, what's, what's the driving Considering force? Considering they didn't have any of the tools no. that we have today. No. And the Great Pyramid. I mean, it's, you know, I, I, I just... I, I look at them and when I go up to the British Museum and I see all the mummies and that lot, you're looking at people that walked and breathed the earth like we did but they have been gone for thousands of years yeah. and they're still here you know we won't be like in in 2000 years i doubt oh, I'm very a, much I'm, a, I'm immortal no yes but aren't you you know are you not going to be mummified i've time not here's a question for you mm. mummified people um shouldn't they be buried why are they in a museum do you because i've always thought about this do you because someone died three thousand years ago shouldn't they have the same respect as someone who died yesterday I agree, I agree. And, and there is that um, whole thing about, you know, digging up the dead, right? 
having said that as well there's a great interest in that civilization and i think that a lot of them got dug up and and, and mm. ruined like uh, for their for the jewels and the trophies yes. and everything like that so these are protected to keep them safe um and also like uh it brings um that world of thousands of years ago into today's world and we can appreciate um i mean like there's one um there's one moment me i saw they actually still have red hair wow Red, and you just think that it's dye, and you think that you know, there's so much I don't know. Where did the Egyptians come from? Like, I don't know about you, but where did they come from? What was their civilization? This is something I'd love to know, learn more mm. about. So, this is why this country calls to me. I mean, a bit like Graham Hancock, who sort of says, We're, we're gonna have a little bit off travel here, mm. but a uh, great, great guy, and he says, You know, civilization is much older mm-hmm. than what modern archaeologists say it is, yeah. Um. Oh, kind of obviously Kapetli Tepe um, in Iraq that's like 10,000 years old mm. it's the oldest city or structure that they found on earth 10,000 years old the oldest structure so far are the pyramids and uh, Avery blah, blah, blah. that's like 5,000 years old so what's going on before that time mm. is really interesting I think when you go to that country I mean obviously there's all the, the you know commercialism yes. now and everything but one other country I'd love to go to is Transylvania but isn't that all hype? Um, yeah, but it's so old as well. Like, you know, some of the history to me is like, it's so pretty. You say old, it's interesting. You say old, go to Avebury. Yeah. That's five and a half thousand years. I need to We're do going. that. We are going. I've been I going there for 30 that. years. And I haven't seen the Big Henge either, you know, because it's the, the Stonehenge that, and the Big Henge. The Woodhead. We were there uh, in, during the lockdown. Me mm. and uh, Dodie went to the... Now, uh, here's a question. What country wouldn't you go to? I follow a guy called, which I'm sure many people might have heard of, because he's got such a huge YouTube following, uh, Benjamin from Brighton. I follow Bald and Bankrupt, mm. YouTuber, who go to all the old Soviet states in Russia, showing the real Russia. He got million, he got about 3.3 million subscribers. And he picked up a camera three years ago. Um, me with my hardly any subscribers at all. But Russia... No interest whatsoever. I'd love to do Russia. It looks so... I'm going I'm to get in trouble here. It just looks dull. I'd like to see where, you know, the Jazars and all that lot were. Yeah. I'd love to see. And Red Square, obviously. Um, For me, what country wouldn't I go to? That's a big one, isn't it? I, give, I mean... I have to say... Let me, let me backtrack a bit there, because that's ignorance saying what I just said. Better a place you've never been to before. I'd like to try it out. Mm try it out for me the country i've ne- i'd love to go because of the history but you know one country i've not been to is spain and it's never intrigued me it's never intrigued me because first of all i don't do the ball hunting uh, ball fighting yeah. and and all that stuff how's that how is that still a thing i i find that very cruel um so i didn't want to put my money in a country that still does that because to me it's not entertainment it's cruelty are you vegetarian um Partial, yes, I am. No, no, you got, are you a vegetarian? Know. No, not completely. No, I'm not. But I still think it's cruel. If you're going to do something, do it quick. Yeah. But it's torment. It's torment. So for me, Spain is a country that's never appealed to me. No, not me. Isn't it interesting? Um, and it's like lovely history. I'm Portugal sure it's gorgeous. Does. But but Spain, no. no. Sorry, guys. No. I don't, I'm sure it's beautiful. But we might Russia and Spain's not going to be too happy with us now, are they? No, sorry. But that's the thing about being us. We have to be completely honest. Of course. And that's just where we're not drawn to. Yeah. So when where are you going to go on your next holiday? Florida. Anywhere else? Um, I like I like to go to Vienna. I really would like oh, to go to Vienna. Call. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Vienna. So yeah, um, I would like to go to Florida, obviously, because I really resonate there. Um, Vienna. I'd like to go back to Minden, mm. uh, which uh, I did many plays out with. Uh, we, we had the Sutton Arts Council. We did plays here in Sutton and then took them out to our twin town Amazing. in Minden. Yeah. Uh, we did ni- 89, 93, 97, 2001. And they've done a couple of since then, but mm. I didn't do them. Uh, yeah, Minden's lovely. I like German Germany. I would like to go back to... No Venice. sense of humour, but great place. Don't tell the German... My, I've got a German friend, and uh, she, uh, when she talks, I can't help but copy her accent, because it's such a cool accent. Yeah, very cool. Um, but to me, I'd like to go back to Venice. Um, yeah. Because it's, it's... To actually have a city that's on the water, and you know it's sinking, and they've got all these balloons keeping yes. it up. 
Um, and after I watched um, Casino Royale, I was like, I need to go back to, to, to Italy. Um, obviously, I'd love to go and do America. I'd love to go and see a lot Where of we America. Go? Well, when they let me in. And, and obviously Canada, but you need to let us in, guys. Some of us, you need to let us in. I think we're very fortunate in this day and age that we have, well, apart from the last three years, but we've got the opportunity to go to so many places. Yes. I like to go back. I went to Thailand in 2015. I found that quite interesting. Mm. Um, I like to go back there. It's very, very liberal. I won't go in. You know, mm. what happens in Thailand stays in Thailand. Of course. Yeah, I'm going to do mm. But um, I'd like to go back there. Um, I mean, Australia, My, I've got family in Australia and um, never wanted to go. Isn't that interesting? I see Australia, lovely people, no desire to go there. It looks to me like England with a bit more sun. I think it's more to me, it's like, it's the long journey. Um, yes. But also, it, it, which is quite tiring. Apart from Ayers Rock, which I'd love to see, yeah. and the, Half of Earth Energy Centre, you know, and the Sydney, you know, um, Opera House, and of course my dear friends out there, because you know my family, it's the I, I just I don't I don't get that calling. I don't get that calling. I don't at get all. that calling to no. it, and it's weird because I watched Lord Lord of the Rings and I loved New Zealand, but that was another country that I didn't get the but calling. But to me, so. even there, amazing, no calling whatsoever. Yeah. It could be the Lake District, you know. Yeah. Interesting and New Zealand. I've just heard all I hear is positive things about New Zealand and Australia, yeah. but as you said, I don't get the calling. But now, I mean, just using this Canada, New Zealand, Australia, I get more calling of the Isle of Wight. Oh, one of the three three toughest countries right now, yeah, for people to, to go to yeah. easily. And I think that's the thing is, why do this is a question for people, you know, you know, listening, what makes you go? to a set country what draws you there yes. is it is it the what a brilliant the, question the yeah. price or is it the destination or just do you go away? back to the same place year after year after yeah. year is there a is there a memory is there something special there or do you feel which place do you feel called to because you know there's a huge globe out there and i think that you and i have just put a, a dot on a yes. few countries but what makes you want to go what and also where was the worst country that you went to and where was the best? We'd like to know that. Yeah, I've never had a worst country. Future travels. Yeah, that's really a really good question, that. I'm full of those, you, you know. are. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you, darling. Darling. We're going we're gonna to do some travelling. Yes, we are. Uh, we I'm are. looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, it'll be great. We're gonna, we're, I think the first thing we're, I think it's going to happen, we're going to do Rye. We're going to do Rye first. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe Glastonbury. Oh, Glastonbury as well. But maybe we will do. Yeah. Can we cope with each other or abroad? I think we could. Do you think? Yeah. When I like you? to travel. I'm very much a solo traveller. I like to travel a solo. Um, I'm not. But I think with you, yeah. it'll be okay. We've never had a bad word, crossword. No. I don't really argue anyway. Even when we've disagreed about points. Yeah. And we have disagreed about points because, of course, we see things differently. We've done it amicably right civilly and I think that's it but it would be good to go on holiday you because I think it'd be interesting to see our dynamic yeah you know like you I'm sure you wouldn't mind carrying around my my big case no not at all as long as I'm filming exactly. that's the problem I'm always filming video video vlog 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 you know none of me on the on, on you know on the beach in a bikini mark oh, cocktail and hair <laughs> but anyway yes there you go let us know which countries yeah I'd be very interested in those and Very well, and it's been fun. Nice to have you uh, have you again. Thank you for being on your sofa again. <sighs> Anytime you like, love. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and the podcast. Yes. Please, if number you're listening. Number three. Yeah, number three. It's another oh, third three. podcast. Yeah. They come out each Sunday. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're, we're enjoying it, aren't we? We are enjoying it. And we might do a live very soon. Yes, because some people have shown interest to actually join us. Yes. They want to ask us some questions. Yes. I wonder what questions they are, Mark. Yeah, I know. Um, hey, hey, hey. Well, hey. So thanks very much for joining us, guys. Hope you're having a great day. And we'll see you next yeah, time. See ya. Take Bye. care.